going on there folks good evening it is the earth master here on this end of the weekend sunday december 26 2021 about 6 25 p.m california time latest quake is a 3.0 earthquake striking out here around the texas region you notice a lot of the earthquake activity uh, has died down in the states this earthquake activity off the coast of oregon and whatnot uh, is uh, i believe some old earthquake activity that that uh, has been on the globe and the USGS map for a couple days now. It's still under uh, automatic status. So I think the system continues to put out the uh, these earthquakes every day until someone reviews them. So not a whole lot of new renewed earthquake activity along the coast uh, or, or Northern California for that matter. Let's go ahead and check out the latest information here. Uh, from the USGS, there's that 3.0 around the Pecos, Texas area. We are seeing a little bit of increase in activity around that region once again. Uh, rest of the states look pretty quiet. Kansas, a little spot, earth, a little earthquake up there. 3.9, and I believe that this is from uh, last night uh, or earlier uh, this morning, but uh, not a whole lot of renewed movement in that area of the country. And as I mentioned here along the coast, the Cascadia subduction zone, these quakes here have been on the map for a couple days now, even though the date does show... Uh, some recent timestamps that is not the correct date these 4.0 and the 3.3 have been in that same location and on the map every day for about two days now and these are still under um, automatic status and they will continue to pop up until someone reviews them so not a whole lot of renewed earthquake activity along the coastline uh, minus this is uh considering that that's not even an uh, uh, earthquake that happened today so a lot of quietness going on here um, in the uh, Northern California area. If you take these out, uh, I'm not seeing any movement, none, which leads me to believe that the USGS has turned off the earthquake activity for the Northern California uh, region. Uh, Pacific, specifically, it seems like San Francisco to Reno northward. Uh, look at Nevada, nothing. I mean, there's, there's almost always something going on in Northern California. Look at the geysers, right? We have never seen the geyser activity in Northern California show nothing. So no doubt they have turned off the uh, earthquake activity map for, for, uh, for whatever reason. You know, maybe they want to enjoy their family and don't really care uh, to uh, put out any earthquake notifications to folks here. Like the, like the people that love to watch the earthquake activity, like me, you. So, uh, but you know what? They're entitled to their uh, family time around this time of year, right? But they also need to do their job and uh, keep the earthquakes up here on the map. And these have been up there for too many days. They're not even relevant to today's activity, but there is none, apparently, to them. No geyser, no movement whatsoever in Northern California, Nevada, Intermountain West. It's just absent of earthquake activity, so uh, just odd. I know that's not, this isn't, it irritates me because they have systems, right? They got to have people that at least check on these earthquakes or, or uh, you know, computer systems that put out the preliminary earthquake data. Uh, on any quake, even if it's a microquake, it should be put out. But nope, they killed the switch. Said no, 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 no earthquakes. The folks can live without earthquakes for a couple days. Uh, we'll get to it Monday. Earthquake activity is showing up surprisingly down in the Southern California region. It just seems like northward into the northern states in Nevada. A um, little bit of movement along the creeping section of San Andreas Fault. Some activity right around the uh, Colinga area, it looks like. Let's see what we got here. Pinnacles 2.2 and a couple other smaller quakes within the San Andreas Fault Zone here. You can see that uh, specifically on the map. I don't know why it breaks apart right here and shows nothing, but uh, that does make an entire plate boundary. That's the San Andreas Fault System. A little bit of creeping movement located on it today. Right smack dab in that area. Also over here around the uh, uh, Kalinga areas where we're seeing some further movement as well. Over the last 24 hours, a couple small microquakes uh, and of course we don't know what's going on up here to the north and nobody does unless the, unless they decide to turn that switch back on ridgecrest area only showing a small amount of earthquake activity and down south as well not a whole lot of movement uh, we are seeing a little bit of activity south of the border 2.1 in the baja um, california region and also a little bit of movement here i believe this one here is an older one too a 4.7 um, I think that's just been on the map for a little bit. Let's see if this has been reviewed. It has. So maybe it's possible that is a newer one. But these up here, 
They've been on the map for a couple days uh, with the same, the same magnitude, the same notice. Let's see what's going on up here. Let's go ahead and check out Earthquake Canada real quick. See what they got. Uh, I don't know if they're on vacation or not, but uh, maybe they got some uh, info on the earthquake activity. According to these folks here in the uh, uh, Earthquake Canada site, not a whole lot of movement. All the yellow indicated of some older movement, the orange within the last week, and uh, nothing really to show on the, the uh, day feature. I don't see any red circles there, at least along the Cascadia uh, for that matter. Over here around the eastern part, uh, a little bit around the Ottawa area and areas up north. Seeing some further movement as well, but uh, as far as Cascadia, it looks pretty uh, quiet up in the northern part of the Cascadia subduction zone. A little bit of activity off the uh, Prince Rupert area. Uh, what do we got here in this orange circle? 3.4, that occurring, well, quite a few days ago. Not a whole lot of new activity to report in that region. Uh, Alaska. Some microquakes kicking up here. No, uh, no shortage of uh, microquakes throughout the region of this uh, plate boundary, the the uh, Lucian Trench region. Looks pretty uh, quiet, at least until you get over here. A little 3.6 striking in that area, and uh, a little bit of movement to chat about down here south of the Japan area, along the Philippine plate. Seeing some. Uh, a little bit of deeper movement. Had some larger activity, 5.9 in the Japan region, almost a six pointer. Very shallow earthquake, 10 kilometers for that earthquake. And a little bit deeper movement up here around the Japan Trench. Uh, occurring later, uh, earlier today, 69.5 kilometers. Still watching this area pretty closely. I keep saying that just because uh, all the subsequent movement down south to the west and over here, a lot of deep activity happening around the Fiji Islands earlier today. Earlier this morning, we had a 6.1 at six, almost 640 kilometers deep, folks. It's very deep uh, earthquake activity in the Fiji Islands region. Of course, no stranger to deep movement, but there's something big going on down there with that magnitude. Uh, also, some more, a little bit shallower earthquake up through the Solomon Islands and the Indonesia region. We have seen things kind of die off here. We did get a little bit of pressure uh, movement over here in the North Atlantic Ocean with a 4.6 in the ridge, northern ridge area, and uh, some activity around Greece earlier. Uh, look at South America, South Sandwich Islands, 5.1 earlier in the day, 33.0 kilometers into the subduction zone here, and a little bit of activity up in the South America region, 4.3. Pretty deep earthquake along the Peru Chile Trench, the Puerto Rico region getting in on some activity as well. Up around the Puerto Rico Trench with a couple twos, mainland and uh, Guatemala down here, uh, 4.5 at 42.6 kilometers inland. It looks like uh, right around the uh, outside of the Guatemala City area. Mexico looks calm for the moment. Of course, uh, I'm kind of waiting to see what the USGS does about this. I'm gonna I'm gonna write them tomorrow. I think and see uh, what they say. I know I know everyone gets vacation, right? But you know, there's systems that uh, put out these notifications. And uh, they should be put out, but they don't. I mean, there's no way, there's no movement in Northern California or throughout the uh, Pacific Northwest. When I went to, uh, let's see if I can pop up the uh, map here real quick. Stand by for one second. Seismograph displays. This is another way to check out live seismographs here through the USGS. Uh, we can check out, like, uh, for example, Nevada. They got stations here around the region that uh, monitor earthquake activity and whatnot. And a lot of this is um, operable. Let's see if I can get some of this to key up here. Nevada's kind of, there's, there's stations all over the place. Let me see what one of these will uh, bring up here. Funny thing is, when I was... Uh, when I was running the uh, California stations, let me see if I can... Okay, we're not going to look on that map. Let's go back over here to the uh, Southern California USGS. Ooh, it's not going to let me reach it now for whatever reason. Uh, 
I'm not for sure what that is. Earlier, when I was trying to access this data, it was giving me a very odd looking screen. And uh, I don't know if you guys had seen it earlier. It was, oh, there we go. I was trying to access the data and uh, it was giving me this. They had like a little map of all the seismograph stations. There we go. If I, if I don't refresh it, maybe we can look at this. I was looking at some of the earthquake uh, activity on a couple different stations here, you can see where this one is. I'm not for sure exactly where that station is, but there's definitely some earthquake activity happening around the region of uh, California. Even some over here looks kind of odd looking. Um, but when I go to click on these stations, for whatever reason, it gives me a... Well, oh, what? Okay, maybe it's trying to make me look crazy now. <laughs> but when I looked at it before, it was these... Uh, just different colored seismographs and you couldn't see any data kicking up on it but now it kind of looks like it oh there we go see it's it's doing it and I'm not for sure why but anyway this is another site you can look at uh, when it comes to looking at uh, s some potential live data uh, when it but then again look at the uh, look at the timestamp on it December 9th so it's possible they have some network issues there Let's look at the uh, Northern California, Berkeley area. Of course, that can't be reached. What's going on? Am I blocked from all the... Uh, <laughs> am I blocked from accessing data? Seismographs here, unless something, unless there's something I don't know about here. Uh, let's try Northern California, USGS. We'll check that out again. These stations uh, apparently are supposed to be active and live, but let's check out something along the coast so you can see it here, but... Once you click on the uh, full thumbnail, it gives me this cool little color chart and uh, from the December 9th area. So I don't know what's going on. I don't think it's me. Uh, something's going on with their uh, network for sure, but I'd sure like to look at some uh, further back seismograph stations from the last 48 hours because I know there's a lot of movement up here in the north. Uh, Oregon just looks... Uh, Let's go over to the PNSN network. Maybe we can check out their seismograph stations. No trimmer, of course, right? Surprise, surprise, along the Cascadia once again. We can go check out uh, certain seismographs. We'll go around the uh, volcanoes for one. Let's check out Mount St. Helens here and see if we can access the uh, three-component broadband station that monitors these seismographs uh, in this region. Of course, of course, of course. Of course, says a horse, right? I'm getting my voice back a little bit, folks. Thank you for uh, the uh, wishing well thoughts. It seems to be helping a little bit. Uh, looking at these seismographs here look pretty odd looking, to say the least. We're not going to go through all of these. We're just going to check a couple volcanoes here. Uh, we'll check out uh, Mount Rainier. See if these guys have anything up and running. just find it odd that when uh, when uh, vacation starts nothing gets reported I mean don't we have computer systems and and whatnot programs to put out data when there's an earthquake can't tell me there's no earthquakes at all happening in the uh, Northern California Pacific Northwest area but either way some some weird stuff going on uh, there we go finally got that to load there's definitely some earthquake activity these spikes here indicating some recent uh, localized earthquake activity. That, not so much. Not for sure what that's about. But uh, definitely some earthquake activity not being uh, generated there on the map. The PNSN network also uh, lets you view some seismographs around the uh, area outside the volcanoes. Pretty cool to look at. Not a whole lot in Northern California, but there is some at the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. See if we can access this uh, Brookings, Oregon. Beautiful Brookings, Oregon station. Yikes, I hope that's not correct. Let's go back here to the previous day. If it's going to let me, I did click it. Is it, uh, is it working? Previous day. 26. Let's see here. It's hard to judge some of these earthquakes. Uh, when they occur off the coast of uh, Brookings, they, uh, some of the smaller ones will look something like that or like that. Some of these localized earthquakes will look distinctly sharp 
And uh, it's hard to decipher. A lot of that looks like it's distance, uh, far as being uh, located far away from the station there in southern Oregon. We'll check another one here in the uh, Carpenterville. Carpenterville, no image found, uh, at least from that seismograph. Let's check a different station here. Okay, those don't want to work. Go back here to a uh, another one, see if we can find one. Just real quick, I don't want to spend too much time on here, but I do want to see if there's uh, activity kicking up offshore that we can maybe uh, look at. Let's see, and it also depends on Let's see here. Yeah, some of this looks like at least some very small microquakes possibly around the region, but it's hard to tell. Uh, but there is a, a pretty cool list there on the PNS net, PNSN network, uh, if you guys want to check it out, of the seismographs maps uh, all throughout the uh, area up into the uh, Pacific Northwest. Once again, trimmer, no trimmer activity to discuss. Yellowstone, I checked that out earlier. There's not a whole lot happening at all in the Pacific Northwest or the uh, North American Plate, for that matter. Things just kind of weird. I know a lot of it's got to do with all the deep movement that we've been seeing along this area of the Pacific Plate. Of course, deep, deep earthquake activity, large deep earthquake activity uh, in general tends to relieve pressure along the West Coast out here in North American side. Uh, but uh, I don't know. It just seems kind of little on the Erie side that nothing's being reported. A little bit of movement up in the Pacific Northwest, it looks like, on the map. Uh, but uh, it's quiet. Let me tell you, it's very, very quiet. We'll see what the USGS adds tomorrow when they fill up their cup of coffee and uh, get with the program. Let's check out the space weather report here real quick, folks. We've got a pretty good cold system coming into California again tonight, which is pretty cool. I love the... Uh, I absolutely love wintertime. Sea flare, a little minor sea flare, it looks like uh, earlier today. Uh, X flare back down to 1%. Only a 75% chance of sea flare now uh, due to the dynamics of the uh, sunspots that are kicking up here on the sun. Earth side, 2916 is about the only threat regionally. Uh, some activity up to the north, but decaying. And the western limb here looking uh, not uh, too active. So uh, I guess this stuff comes and goes. Right now it's kind of going more than it is coming. So we'll see uh, what it does in the next couple weeks, next couple months, next couple years as we head into the uh, solar maximum. Uh, let's see here, folks. I think that's about it here on the update. Like I say, there's not a whole lot going on in the States. It's just kind of kind of eerie. No magical buoys going off anywhere. And uh, looking at just general activity in this region here of some deep movement. I think with all the deep activity here in Fiji, we can expect some further development here. New Zealand, northward Kermadec Trench area uh, for some possible adjustment. But then again, um, all that activity working west here has... Uh, moved well over into the Indonesia area, but it's only been some minor, small surface quaking within this region. Very possible we could see some further uh, development here in this area. Looks like there was a uh, 4.7, pretty shallow earthquake, but the other earthquakes here relatively deep, so could be some uh, shallow adjustment up here along this region, Solomon Sea to the uh, Port Villa area. All right, guys, have a good night. I'm going to finish barbecuing up my dinner with Missy Mimi's, and we will chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there, everyone, and uh, just be on guard. Crazy, crazy world we're living in. Peace out.